All right, so after about four hours or so, yeah, three and a half, four hours, the stove has kind of leveled out, you know, just built up some, some coals in the bottom. So I can, maybe I could have closed the vents up quicker. I, I don't know. I just, I'm still kind of in the experimental phase. But at this point I have this front vent completely closed. But it's not really completely closed because it's just not an airtight um adjustment air goes in behind it and I close the flue to pretty much closed it's it's almost completely closed you can see I think you can see that it's pretty much completely closed it's been like this for Mm, well over half an hour and we're still maintaining a flu temperature of well, what is that 375 ish which is a very good uh, burning temp you know for not when you're using the right wood uh, wood that isn't wet or anything like that. That's a very good um, temperature for the flu to be burning at to not create creosote in your chimney. Um, of course, there's other things involved as far as is your chimney, you know, properly insulated, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But at this point, um, you know, just looking at it at a basic level, this is a, you know, pretty even um, operating temperature. This thing's pumping off some heat. And you don't have, you know, the more you can close the flue and the front vent here, the less the air is flowing through to, to burn up your wood and still maintaining a good flu temp. So it's, it's pretty much balanced out at this point. Um, and it's putting off a lot of heat. It's actually <laughs> pretty uncomfortable to be this close, but uh, of course, a fan would be better to distribute the heat around the space in here, which is uh, about 250 square feet. So, uh, let's just for giggles, let's look inside. Yeah, I packed the wood in there just so that it would keep going. You can see the bricks I have.